All right, guys, so here is the second most important exercise you can do, good old-fashioned squats. Squats are, they're an ass kicker, no other way around that, but I'm telling you, such a wonderful exercise. You get in your lower back, you obviously in your thighs, it's just your butt. It's a great exercise, but it's hard, and that's why a lot of people don't do them, because it does take a lot out of you. But um, my three main exercises are squats, bench press, overhead press with a kind of like we showed you the other day where you're kind of clean and jerk and pulling up sometimes i'll do the behind the neck squats i don't like to do that as much um, just because you're not getting that much weight behind there um, and if i'm going to do squats i want to get a little bit more weight and i'm just showing you here at 25 pounds each it's a warm-up exercise always got to get some warm-ups a lot of people do a lot of stretching and all that and that's fine um, i don't even stretch i just start off with a lightweight i'll do like i said I guess four to five rep sets of uh, you know 20 on uh, squats because you can get a lot more weight than you can on any other exercise um, other than the deadlifts and I just don't do deadlifts. I, I my form has never been very good and so every time I try my hurt my back just oh man it gets painful. But because you can get a lot more weight in squats, I usually um, will start with 25 pounds as my first set just for warm up. And it's a 45 pound bar. I always have a pad here. I'm telling you, ever since I got the pad, it just made it so much easier to do squats. So 25s on each side, 45 pounds, um, 50 plus 45 is 95. I'll do uh, five reps of, uh, of this. I'll throw on a 45 pound, five reps of that. I'll throw on a 45 pound in this. That's 185, five reps of that. And I'm usually shooting for, on the squats, I don't know, I, I'm shooting for 315. I've got 315 a couple times. I, I, right now, I'll probably today I'll probably do 285, um, and that's usually where I want to max out. If I if I get five reps of uh, five rep five sets of five reps at 315 on the squats, I'm pretty comfortable with that. I haven't been able to do that that much lately. I've been getting about 315, yeah, probably three or four reps on three or four. Uh, uh, sets it just it's it hurt. I mean I won't say it hurts but it's uh it, it wears you out no other way around it and and Frank I'm okay if I get say 285 315 on a routine basis I'm fine with that um, but today is a workout where I'll do squats and then like I showed you earlier I'll do some uh, uh some pull-ups and that'll be it for the day so you come in here I'll usually be down here an hour it's my basement I'll get five good reps of a heavy weight a good set of a heavy weight so five sets of hopefully five reps so let's just say 285 today that's what i'm shooting for um it's chris this morning it's only i guess it's about uh, 11 right now so i don't feel all the energetic but i will try to get five sets of five uh pull-ups today i'm doing the chin-ups i think that's these called when they're chin-ups and that should be i want to say easy but usually it's easier to do the chin-ups than it is to pull, do the pull-ups so if i can get both of those then i'm having a good workout and i'll probably take like seven hour on days where i'm doing the bench and I won't go into that in detail because everyone knows what a bench press is. Again, I just start with some warm-ups, a lot of warm-ups, five sets of warm-ups. Just get the blood flowing with a light weight. Um, and then I'll do five sets of, you know, whatever I can push up. 225, if I can get that five times, that's great. If I can only get, uh, you know, 215, I'll do that. It's just whatever I can kind of feel like. I will try to throw you know 10 pounds on when I feel like I'm getting to the point where I'm uh, you know got where I'm I'm just I'm able to push through that. Um, I will try to put on an extra 10 pounds to get there. So if I'm doing five sets of five reps, and I want to say easily, but I'm not struggling that much, I'll throw 10 pounds more on to get five sets of three reps. And then as I get five sets of three reps, I'll get five sets of four reps. And once I'm at back up to five sets of five reps, I'll throw another 10 pounds or so on. But my ultimate goal is really to do a bench you know, 315. I'm not anywhere near that at this stage, hopefully by the end of 2008. Uh, squat, if I can get 375, these are just one set, one rep. I and mean, that's all I'm shooting for. If I can get 375 on a squat, uh, 315 on the bench. Uh, what's the other one I do? Oh, and then overhead press, I'd like to get 225. If I get one of those three things, I'll, I'll, be, feel, I'll be pretty happy with myself. That's my goal for 2018. At the end, one set rep of uh, 375, one rep of 225 overhead press, and one rep of 315 on the bench. I have no clue how I could get there. I mean, my goodness. Um, if you would ask me a year ago, I'd be thinking about that. I thought you're crazy. 
but it just takes some dedication. Uh, but it feels good, man. It hurts in terms of a good pain. But if that's a goal for you, just do it. But you have to start with something. Even if you only start with 95, it's okay. It's okay. I remember going to the gym in South Carolina, I guess about two or three years ago, and I was doing 135 on squats. And um, I didn't care. I mean, people, I don't, I, I'd never done squats before because I always thought they hurt your knees and stuff. And I was reading this book by Mark Ripito, and I'll, uh, I'll link to it in the show, in the notes here, that talked about squats. You have to do squats. And I said, I don't know, my knees, blah, blah, blah. I'm telling you, your leg muscles are so strong, and once you start doing it, you put a lot of weight up very quickly. It's amazing, actually, much more so than the bench. Everyone focus on the bench. Don't focus on the bench. I mean, actually, you should focus on the deadlifts, and I'm pointing down the bar I have on the ground here, um, as opposed to the bench. But I just, I don't, the deadlifts hurt me, and I, I do something wrong, so I just, I said, forget that. I'm just going to go with the bench. But on the, on the squats, man, you put on a, you know, again, you even do an empty bar. That's an empty bar is just 45 pounds. Just get used to the, the mechanism of how you're doing it. You know, just get your back in there. Just get your thighs. Just get used to it. And if you do that on a regular basis, I'm telling you, you will quickly see an explosion in weight. But you really don't, you don't want to be doing 12 reps in a set. That's not enough weight. You want to be doing, say, six to eight five is fine five to eight reps in one set if you can do eight you need to put more weight on there that's all there is to it and i'm telling you when you do your squats you'll see an explosion and you'll get addicted to it i was watching my daughter show me a guy i think he was like 18 years old skinny guy he was doing 405 he did two reps of 405 on the squats maybe 19 years old the skinny probably way less than me and the only reason was because he'd been doing it. He just got practice and practice and practice, and he got the addiction mentality, which is just habitual. Once you do it on a regular basis, it becomes habitual, and then you want to do it. You want to get in the gym, even though squats are such a pain in the ass. But you want to, and it's awesome. And you'll just get that motivation. You'll feel bad when you don't work out for a couple of days. Um, again, I try to go six on and two off, six weeks on and two weeks off. Um, and, and the reason for that is I think your body does need to recoup a little bit. And after the end of the two weeks off, I'll start with a little bit less of a, of a weight. Um, that way I can just kind of recuperate into it. I, I just like that. I actually just started doing that. It feels great, man. The two weeks off, you feel like a lump. But after that, you're like, oh, man, do I want to get back into it? And then you get back into it real quick and you feel great. Um, so if I had my, if I could say the three things you should do, it'd be the deadlift, It'd be the overhead press and it'd be the squats. Those three things, or the clean and jerks, you're kind of coming down like that, going like that. That's a wonderful, wonderful exercise. Again, you're kind of getting off the ground, going up and going like that. Those three things, you'd be fine. And then some, uh, you know, try to you know, filter in some um, some uh, pull-ups. If you can do pull-ups there too, that's four exercises, three times a week, four times a week if you want. Yeah, I guess what's that? Forty-five minutes. You know, now the one drawback about only doing one exercise of uh, a workout, you really need to take some time to recuperate. Five minutes. Give yourself a five-minute break. I'm just telling you, you need to rest if you're going to be trying to do any kind of significant weight. You got to let your body rest. If you're only giving yourself two minutes between sets, you're just not going to get your max. You won't. So give yourself five, even seven minutes, especially if you're doing a heavy weight. Give yourself five minutes at the minimum. Seven minutes is fine. Yeah, it look like you're hogging up. If you're at a weight room, it look like maybe you're hogging up a uh, the squat rack or the bench press or something like that. Hey, you got there first. That's okay. I mean, people who do this, they know you got to rest. That's all there is to it. Now, if you're looking for cardio, you don't want to rest. Cardio, you should be jogging, frankly. Um, but if you just want to get weight, give yourself some time to rest. Five to seven minutes is, is absolutely wonderful. And you'll notice a difference when you do like that. You'll say, oh, your body can deal with it. Your muscles will feel better. And at the end of your workout, you'll feel great. There's no other way around that. Absolutely nothing wrong getting cardio, but cardio works against putting on muscle mass. So just remember, what are you trying to accomplish? Are you trying to get lean? Are you trying to get bigger? Or are you just trying to get better in shape? Well, if you do a heavy weight, you're heavy from what you can accommodate yourself at this time, and do five to six reps five sets you will get cardio i'm telling you right now i mean again right now my blood bps is at 83 i guarantee by the time i've done this will be up to 115 and that's that's cardio no other way around that now can i do a major endurance like a marathon no do i want to do marathon running no that's not what i want to do 
Uh, my wife and my daughter are at the gym as we speak, and that's what they're doing. They're jogging a lot. That's fine. They're trying to get thin, trying to get fit and thin. I, I don't want to be too thin. I mean, I'd like to lose a little bit of my belly, but that's just because I eat um, some crap. But that's okay. I mean, I just, it's, hell, it's uh, the holiday season, so I'm going to eat. But I try not to. I certainly try to watch my carbs. But I guess that's pretty much it. Um, so those three things, just to reiterate, squats, deadlifts, and clean and jerks, or at least overhead presses. Filter in some, uh, uh, some pull-ups. <laughs> Give yourself a rest. Add 10 pounds every time you kind of clear five to six reps pretty easily. Add 10 pounds on each side on the next time out. And I think you'll be in a good place. And it's a wonderful tool just to start yourself for 2018. You don't need hours in the gym, folks. You don't need hours in the gym. You're not going to be Lou Ferrigno. You just want to be healthy. That's all there is to it. And it's nothing wrong with being healthy. Nothing wrong with striving for healthy. It's nothing wrong with striving to get some weight off the ground. But you don't need a huge amount of, of exercise regime. You don't need five days a, a week. If you want to do it, more power to you. I don't care. I don't have time for that. And I don't think most people do. Just start today. All right, so I'm just going to show you one quick. This is just on 95. Again, nothing huge here, but that's okay. It might be big for you. Just take that first step. Get on there and take the first step and give it a shot. And that'll be a big deal to getting you going. Now, the first rep is always a tough one. So, I again, I like my pad. I just like to get under the bar. Oh, man, like that. Nothing fancy. Step out of the rack here and just kind of come down. Try to get deep and push you with your butt up. Start with your butt going up first. Kind of deep. And then, oh, man. And do that five times. Do that five times, and that'll get you warmed up and put some heavier weight on there and get you warmed up and, and just whatever you need to do for the day to get the job done. All right, guys, hey, put comments, questions, notes in there down below. I got my Bruins thing on. I will I just, my wife gave me a haircut. Yes, yeah, this looks pretty good, I suppose. <laughs> but uh, um, any comments, questions, observations, I love to hear them because I think it's important for you got to be in good shape. Way, 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 way too many people are obese. I don't buy into it that everyone's sed sedentary. Um, sitting around on their butts all day long. I think it's a food we eat. I think the food we eat is a bunch of crap for the most part. I eat it too. Um, and I'm actually going to do a thing on my, uh, <laughs> when I started losing weight because I went low carbs, how much different uh, my BMI went, how much different my tries went. It's very interesting. I'll do that next. Okay, thanks. See ya.